Guys, welcome to another Shed Stories video. This is gonna be a fun one and I'm excited to show you all the cool content I've gathered up for this video. Before we get started, if you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and leave a comment at some point during the video. Comments especially are what drive the YouTube algorithm to push this video out to more people so it can be seen by more people like you who love Shed Stories and love to go on a good Shed adventure. Okay, so a little backstory before we get started. When I first moved to Kanab with my family two years ago, we lived in a cool little apartment while our house was being built. And kitty corner around the bend from that apartment was this house that we would go drive by on my way to work, on the way to the grocery store, going for walks with the dog or with our kids. And we'd always go by and every time I'd look into their yard and I would just stare. And the reason is because they have deer antlers everywhere along their fence, in their front porch, on the front trellis of their house, kind of just everywhere. And so I always would walk by or drive by and think to myself, these are the kind of people I want to get to know, meet, because I bet they're awesome people. Before too long, they invited us over for a barbecue at their house. And I'll never forget when we walked in the front door, there's this bookshelf on the back wall of their living room. And at the top of that bookshelf, there was just this crown of big deer sheds. And obviously, being a shed hunter, that caught my eye. And so Kerry got up in there and he took down some of those sheds and told me some cool stories about him and his dad and the adventures that they shared together while they were actually out looking for Indian relics and just enjoying all the cool things that the outdoors has to offer. One of those deer sheds that he brought down and showed me was something super special. And I have it with me now, and I will just give you a little teeny peek right there. I won't show you any more than that until the end of this video. You gotta stick around, right? One of the coolest deer sheds that I've ever seen. Big, massy, extra points. All the things that, as you guys know, as I'm on my quest to find a 100 inch shed is exactly what I'm looking for. Well, we became friends. And uh, it wasn't too long ago that Carrie said, hey, let's go back into that area. Why don't we go out there and see if we can uh, find a shed? And to add to the story, Carrie told me that they spent a couple extra trips. This was back in 2009 when he found the shed that I will show you at the end of the video. And they never turned up the other side, never were able to get it and the buck was actually killed by a lion in 2010. And you can go see that deer. Anyways, make a long story short, as far as to anybody's knowledge goes, the other side of Kerry and his dad Ron's buck never did get found. So they invited us to go out there and this is the shed stories from that trip. So check it out. Well, you guys, here we are. Another shed stories adventure. It's gonna be a fun one. Um, out here with my good friend, Carrie. Carrie, thanks for bringing me out here. It's a cool place. Off the beaten track and uh, in some country I've never been in my whole life. So that in and of itself makes it a fun adventure. And uh, there's a good chance of finding that 100 incher. I don't know if it's a good chance, but a better chance in here. And it's not going to be easy if I only find a 95 inch shed. It's okay, too. Anyways, so we'll see what happens, guys. I got the lucky hoodie on and uh, just feeling like we're gonna. Oh, that's cool. Check this out. So that's the edge of a, of a pot, like an Indian pot. So that's one of the cool things about this place is there's been Indians out here. And uh, there's another piece. Probably a piece off the same pot. So that's cool. So even if we don't find sheds, which I believe we will, there will be Indian stuff to watch for. So, heck yeah. That's 
way cool, dude. It is cool, huh? So this is called a greenery. Yeah. Yeah, it was just kind of there where they cash. You know, store all their, their stuff, all their food. <laughs> My dad said when he was here, you can see it was all the way over and rocked up to here. <laughs> when he first found that rock. Well, I'll bet at one time they, yeah. <laughs> All right, new day. We each did just a little over six miles and got completely skunked. But that's okay. We're in a place where there's definitely less deer. But if we find one, it could be a giant. So I'll take hiking 40 miles for two sheds and have them be big over hiking 40 miles for 30 sheds and have them all be small. Let's go find some big sheds, guys. We've got Carrie out, my brother Bo, and his two boys, Gavin and Landon, are out as well and came down from Northern Utah to be with us today. So we've got five of us, which should turn something up. So stay tuned. All right, we've been looking for, we've been out for what, 40 minutes, 45 minutes? Yeah. Something like that. And Jeff's already picked up a five point deer shed and Carrie's out trying to help him find the other side. But you know, as luck would have it, stumbled on this old guy. He is ancient. <laughs> Crabby. Nice curl to that. Look at that G2. But, yeah, that's pretty sweet, huh? My first Northern California deer shed. Awesome. Let's go find some more. Okay guys, so I was walking just kind of along that rim of that hill and I was going to go up that draw, but I thought, you know what, I probably should make a loop around this little valley and I'm glad I did. I just found my first shed. I was standing about right here when I saw it and it looks like a dandy. Yes, it does can see something on there extra. Let's see, I haven't used this camera forever, so. Right there. <laughs> yes. So we're gonna go get it. See what we got. We'll go look at it together. I don't know how old it is. It's got a cool eye guard. That's kind of chalky. It's been there for a while. Beat easy, cool, cool deer. Heck yeah, I need to take some, some ATL pictures first. And then I can see what we got there. But that is a cool buck. Oh heck yeah. Not a hundred inches, but it's a good one. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go guys. It's a stud. Oh my gosh. He is cool. He is old. This thing's been sitting here for a little while. <laughs> oh, look at those blades on the back. And the eye guard. Dude, he is super cool. That's a big buck. I don't think it's 100 inches, but it's big oh my gosh definitely what I've been dreaming about finding down here I just can't believe how old it is it is in perfect perfect condition holy cow right, you guys <laughs> here comes a pickup dude that thing is freaking huge that is a big freaking shed. 
Holy crap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Thing's been sitting here for a while. It's kind of pinked out on the back, but he is cool. So dang cool. Okay. It's big enough that I think somebody will recognize it. Really? Maybe, I don't know. Tell me what you think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. It's older in the hills, but. Yeah. It's 90 inches, yeah. easy. That's sweet, man. Heck yeah, right in the middle of just right that wash. That's about where crazy. that tree is and that bush, just kind of yeah. right there in the wide open. So. Yeah, yeah that's a van. Uh, cool to match him up, but he's kind of got that same funky little like eye, eye guard, guard that yours. Know. That's what I wonder. And then that one side uh -huh. where it has that little triple point off the back, that's how that buck was. Yeah. Too. So it makes so me wonder. It could be years ago. I don't know. Who knows, huh? That's kind of cool, though. I don't think it's big enough to be like your match, but. Yeah, but it could have been early, early like on. A, like a year before or two before. Yeah. It has a little different frame than that one. Yeah, I thought two years kind of had more of the white tail look. Yeah. Huh. Well, somebody might have found it. That's true. Yeah. And you were just right over there, right? Yeah, just on the other side right there. I'll just loop, let me just loop down the bottom of this wash and then I'll come back. Okay, I'll kind of, I'll kind of loop through this stuff and just walk through the sagebrush. See if we can match him up. It'd be cool if we could match him up. Well, you guys, thanks for watching part one of this little mini series that I've called Finding RKG. RKG standing for Ron Carey Glover. The deer has another name, but that's the name that I've chosen for it. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this first part, and uh, next Sunday we'll be rolling with part two. You guys are not going to want to miss that one. It's super, super good, and uh, the big sheds keep coming. Also, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. In fact, for someone who leaves a comment on this video, I'm going to give them a free hat and a free t-shirt, and we'll choose that person in next Sunday's video for part two. So... Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave that comment and win a hat and a t-shirt. See you on the next one, guys.